sedation, regional anesthesia, fever, and general anesthesia. These are all the choices. In monitored anesthesia care, the procedure specialist monitors the patient with the help of the staff. So normally, an anesthesiologist is not required because the patient is almost fully conscious with very, very mild sedation and he will be able to maintain his airway and he will be able to respond to the calls also. So that is the monitored anesthesia care. Sedation it can be classified as conscious sedation. This describes a depressed state of consciousness and patient will be able to respond to commands, maintain his or her own airway, and the airway reflexes are well preserved. Then there is a state of deep sedation. If the consciousness is depressed to the extent protective airway reflexes are upended and the airway maintenance becomes necessary, and this definitely requires the presence of an anesthetist who can put in an airway or give a jaw rest or maintain the head position properly to maintain a stated airway. And patient can easily drift from the state of conscious sedation into deep sedation depending upon his age and sensitivity to drugs and health status, etc. So titration and adjustment of the drug dosage is very, very important and requires the skill and expertise of the anesthesiologist. Now, total intravenous anesthesia, the drugs used and the, some agents are often required to maintain a patent airway. And the airway can be maintained by either thin lip jaw thrust or oropharyngeal airway or LMA can be used in a deeply anesthetized patient. Now, procedure suitable for FIVA or lithotripsy, two-side retrieval, IVF and fetal reduction surgeries in ultrasound room. General anesthesia with controlled ventilation is the choice in many situations, particularly the patients are undergoing coiling of cerebral neurism, etc. in the radiology suit. And in MRI, you must use an MRI compatible anesthesia machine. Not just MRI safe, but it should be MRI compatible. What is the difference between MRI compatible and MRI safe equipment? Ajuta. This is a common question they may ask you if you are talking about MRI. Vidya? Yeah. The material of the machine and the body material of the machine is made of. Uh, Non electromagnetic. What is the difference between MRI safe and MRI compatible machines or equipment? MRI safe machines are safe that they will not be attracted by the magnetic field created by MRI, but their functioning status is not guaranteed. It is called MRI safe. Whereas an MRI compatible equipment, will not be attracted by the magnetic field and it will function normally. That is called an MRI compatible anesthesia machine or an equipment. So this is a major difference. MRI safe, it will not be attracted by the MRI, but the functioning status, for example, an ECG machine, which is MRI safe, will not give the tracing properly, but it will not be attracted by the MRI the magnetic field. Whereas MRI compatible ECG machine or a pulse oximeter will show the normal waveform, normal uh, rate, everything, but it will not be also attracted by the magnetic field. So that is the major difference that we have to remember. So this is how the machine is used. On the regional anesthesia, you can commonly use spinal epidural or combined spinal epidural in remote locations or nerve block to a particular limb wherever required. Coming to the monitoring, these are the minimal monitoring. You must have pulse oximeter, ECG, NABP, entitled. In the non-intubated patient, entitled CO2 can be monitored by tapping the sampling line to the patient's upper lip near the nostrils. In the required CO2 is sensed along with the graphic display and respiration. Documentation of anesthesia, time and dose, Saturation, heart rate, respiratory rate, NIBP, all this can be documented and level of sedation also to be uh, documented. And uh, when the patient is uh, having a conscious sedation, the interval for documentation is 15 minutes. Whereas if the patient is in deep sedation or general anesthesia, the interval for documentation is every five minutes. 
and uh, commonly used anesthetic agents are metazolone, fentanyl, propofol, ketamine, ketopol, remifentanil, dexmed, and prilocaine. And for uh, leukotripsy, they can use even prilocaine on the surface. Special considerations are anaphylaxis to the dye, which you should be aware of. So any contrast, if the surgeon or the, I mean, the radiologist or the cardiologist says, I am going to use the dye, Make sure that patient uh, does not have any history of anaphylaxis I mean, allergy, and uh, uh, patient is be adequately having an IV line to hydrate them so that they don't go in for contrast induced nephropathy. And uh, our hypothermia is the next problem in the Nora should be avoided and radiation exposure to both the anesthesia personnel as well as the patient is a special problem that we have to know. Post procedure, we have to <clears throat> transport the patient to standard recovery room, accompanied by all the monitors, and the uh, anesthesia should accompany for the safe transit. And may, most patients may require oxygen during support because they may be in a sedated way. And patients who require elective post-op ventilation must be transferred with continuous monitoring. Discharge criteria: these patients are the same as for the patient after surgery. Now, what are the common complications that Nero can produce? If there are a host of complications starting from wheezing, coughing, aspiration, desaturation, allergic reaction, apnea, cardiac arrest, hypothermia, luminospasm. So airway related, cardiovascular related, procedure related, prolongation of anesthesia, secretion, unintended deep level of anesthesia, use of reversal agents which may be unplanned, vomiting, apnea, emergency, all these things are the complications that are there. And the ASA has prescribed some guidelines in October 2003, which is amended in 2008. So there should be a reliable oxygen source backup, oxygen source, waste gas scavenging, adequate monitoring, self-inflating hand registered bag, sufficient safe electrical outlet, adequate patient and anesthesia machine elimination with battery power backup, sufficient space for anesthesia care team, emergency car with defibrillator, emergency drug, means of reliable two-way communication to request assistance, in compliance of the facility is all applicable to safety and building code. Appropriate post anesthesia management should be provided and adequately trained staff to support the anesthesia. These are all the guidelines that have been given for safe uh, context of anesthesia. Of course, the accessibility to the patient is also one of the problems in MRI, especially when you give MRI for anesthesia for small kids undergoing MRI. We require a Special equipment like a long uh, uh, vein circuit or ejection vein circuit. Should the machine will be outside the uh, MRI gang circuit gas line. So you require a long circuit. And whenever you have a long circuit, there is always a possibility of disconnection. So before uh, testing the patient inside the MRI suit, you have to make sure that all the connections are being. Breathing systems are all well fitted and nicely secured. The airway should be taken care of. Right? These are the points that we have seen. So we have covered most of them, but we can modify a little bit by including the points that I have shown. That yes, especially sir. the tophne pneumonic is a well accepted thing that we can write in your answer. So that uh, mm -hmm. in practice also it will be useful to. Remember what are all the things that you have to check before you start the uh, design or remote research. Especially you go out after some your degree and uh, start practicing in an endoscopic suit. That is the most challenging job that you come up with. So there you have to check all these things before you go okay. yeah. So shall we say? See you later. Thank you. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Next week, Thank you, sir. Uh, I may not be available because I'm going to small surgery tomorrow. So okay, sir.
So which class will be taken later? So uh, next week I don't think I will do this class. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So if I am back to my routine, I will let you know. Uh, and probably from the second week of September, I will do my routine. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.